Hi guys, uh, hope you're doing well. Uh, we come to an end of our uh, push-up challenge. I hope you guys uh, built up some strength and if you were strong enough to do your push-ups, you've progressed and you've tried some new uh, variations. I saw some amazing, uh, you know, variations coming up where people were going, uh, you know, um, uh, with the legs up, diamond push-ups, white push-ups, doing different kind of combinations. It's great. It's great to see how people are progressing. If you are not able to build too much on it, don't be discouraged. We're going to keep on working on this. Uh, push-ups is a kind of movement which does not, uh, you know, come up uh, very fast. It takes time, so you need to be patient. You need to work on it. The what challenge is over, but I would request, you know, you to practice it every day. If not every day, at least three to four times a week. Spend not more than 10 to 15 minutes. Focus on the drill. Focus on some basics. Uh, keep on building on it. If you don't know what to do, you can connect with me one on one and we can we can give you some drills, some little progression, some regression which will help you build that strength. Okay, that was for our previous challenge. From now, we're going to add another new challenge. More than a challenge of strength, it's more around flexibility and mobility. Uh, we did some mobility drills over the weekend and I got some very good feedback that people enjoyed it. It was it was a good shoulder opener and, and a thoracic, that's the upper back. So what we're going to work today is we're going to work on our um, mobility around our hips, mobility around our hamstrings, I mean flexibility around our hamstrings, uh, mobility around uh, ankles. Uh, and you know, a lot of times these days we are spending uh, 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 on the chair working uh, and you know, we, we our movement is very restricted because of which, you know, uh, our hamstrings are getting tight. Once the hamstrings get tight, you know, the load goes on to a lower back. Once the lower back is taking all the stress, you know, you start feeling, uh, you know, uncomfortable uh, uh, throughout the day. Uh, I got a couple of feedback from people saying that, you know, they were just bending forward and they kind of start feeling a little, uh, you know, uncomfortable pain feeling on the left or the right. Purely because, you know, we're spending a lot of time sitting, our posture goes upside down, it's just all over the place. So we're going to work on this drill. Uh, we can spend at least 10-15 minutes every day before our workout. It'll be a good warm-up as well. It'll be a good hip opener. It's going to help you, uh, you know, focus on, uh, you know, flexibility around your hamstrings. And the very most important part is the flexibility around your ankles. Without spending too much of time talking about it, let's get into the movement and let's talk about it. Uh, I'm going to use this ball as a part of our movement. Uh, we've done this movement as a part of our strength workout. We call it Kozak Squat. Uh, not many people get to reach where uh, you know they should be reaching so this is a good exercise for them to go back and work on it okay have a look at the workout and i'm going to then start working on some progression and regression and see how we can work on it okay show you from the side To talk about this movement. It's as good as what we call a side lunge or a Kuzak squat is the right name. Okay, to talk more about it, to talk about certain standards, I want you to stand with your feet wide, not too wide, but wide in a comfortable place, making sure your back is straight. I want you to go lunge on one side. Now when you go down, an important thing, the standard which I want you to maintain is that the foot which you're loading is completely on the ground. My other leg is straightened out and the toe is pointing up. Right, once you're done, stand up tall. And then we go to the other side. Again, the foot which I'm loading up is completely on the ground. And we're going to talk about why I'm emphasizing over there. And then you stand up tall. Notice when I'm standing up tall, this knee, the other leg is completely straightened out. Now, a lot of times what people find is that when they go to one side, they tend a not they're not able to go down. They feel they're gonna fall back. Absolutely okay, don't worry about it. I'm gonna teach you a trick how you can work on it to improve it. The other thing which you will find is that you're not able to go down without lifting this heel up. So I find a lot of people going down with the heel up. Because they feel that if they put the heel down, they're gonna fall. Very normal, that's all right. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna use a prop. To use a prop, what we can do is, 
I have this ball, you can use this ball, or I'm sure everybody has a chair. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna keep this chair right in front of me, and I'm gonna take all the support of this chair as I can. Now from here, I'm gonna go down, I'm not gonna fall, I'm gonna hold on to this chair. I'm not gonna let this chair come forward, or I'm not gonna leave this chair so I don't fall back. So now if you notice, I'm holding onto this chair and I'm going down and I'm coming up. Now, my first standard is to ensure that when I'm going down, I have to reach to a standard where my foot is completely down on the ground. That's step one. And the other leg is straightened out. If you're able to do that, if you're able to achieve it, fantastic. Keep on working on it. If you're not able to do that, I want you to start working on it. Now. You will find first going down is challenging. Build on that strength. Do it, if do it for a day, do it for a couple of days. Once you've done that, you will find that getting up sometimes is challenging. Means that you are able to go down, but when you come up, you feel that your leg does not have enough strength to push you up. Again, use the chair. This time, I'm gonna use the chair and I'm gonna push myself up and I'm going to stand up. You know, sometimes it's not about what's the load your uh, you know, muscle can take. A lot of times it's about whether you feel confident, whether you can do that movement or not. Once you build up that confidence, start working on it. Try doing about 10 to one side, 10 on the other. That's about one set. Do about three to four rounds. Uh, ankle, hip, your hamstring, and of course, your ductors, your groin area, you're gonna feel some tightness. Work on it. In a day or two, you will build on it. If you're able to do it well, great. I'm gonna work on a couple of progressions in the next few days, but for the next three days, I want you to just focus on going down all the way and coming up, working on both sides. There are multiple of combinations and, and progressions we can work on it. We will reach there as well. But to start with, start going to each side, see how you feel, do it about for two, three days, and then we will take it up forward, all right? Uh, try it out. If you have any questions, feel free to connect with me in the group or feel free to connect with me one-on-one -on -one, and we can certainly work on it, all right? I'll see you guys later. Bye.